Hey guys, Crystal from Dreams Gallery. So here is part two of our painting tutorial for an office project for Busy Bees Cochran. So now we are working with the honeycomb behind the bee. Now, this is a different bee. I know I did a tutorial on the previous bee. There's five that I've done in total. I'm not recording all of them because it is quite a lot to watch. So now I am just painting the outline of the honeycomb. I'm doing a honeycomb close or behind each bee just to give some depth and the background behind the bee. Now I drew these um, honeycombs out prior and now I'm just painting the outlines. Again, it's sped up quite fast. I'm not doing the entire background of honeycomb because it'd be far too much detail and I do want the bees to be the main focus. So now I'm doing the highlight, the shading, the highlight of the um, honeycomb. It's not very detailed, it's just quick white lines. You'll see why. Um, as we get towards the end of finishing the honeycomb, I faded all out. Um, so you're not going to see much of the detail, but you are going to see the highlights. So it's important to have that highlight. Again, the depth is, is key to um, having detail in a painting. Now I'm doing white highlight in each um, section so you can see the shading. So now I'm adding white around the edges because I want the ends to basically fade out where you don't really see them that well in comparison to the others. Now honeycombs are, you know, yellow, brownish color. So here are the opposite side of the shading. So again, the light is coming from the left and um, now I'm fading it out again. I'll continue to do that. Now, this is where I've added water to my brush. Everything is dry. I've added water to my brush and uh, a mixture of water and the, that green shade. And I have faded it out so it's in the background, it's behind the bee to be its main focus. Again, more brown in certain areas to make it look a little more dirty like because that's really what honeycombs look like. And now I'm doing around the outline, the background, and I'm doing different shades throughout the entire painting. And that's it for part two.